Let's take a look at working with the table on HP Prime. Um, now I'm back here at my main. If you're not, uh, then you press your apps and you'll be back here. You want to go into function. So if it's not already highlighted, like if I'm down here, I can highlight it and then press enter. And we should be in the function symbolic view. And so we're going to type in our first one, which is this. So I'm going to type in um, my x key, x squared, minus 3x, plus 1, and press enter. Okay, now if we come down to num, this brings us up in a table view. And mine may start at different numbers than yours. Don't really stress about it if yours is different. If I do my up arrow, it'll scroll up that way. It's like one big t-chart. If I scroll down, then I'll see all the different options down here. Now, um, you see how it's going by ones here? I can do a shift num to go in my table. And um, you see the number of steps right here, or num step? Uh, this tells what it goes by. So it goes by ones. I can change this to five and press enter. And now if I press my num, then you'll see it going by fives. 8 plus 5 is 13, 13 plus 5 is 18, so forth. You can also um, come back to your setup, do a shift, num, and instead of having to start at uh, 8, you could uh, go down to 2000. This is a very fast way you can scroll down instead of pressing your down arrow over and over. Now if I press my num, see that's uh, 2000, it's going by 5s. Now, um, if I scroll up, it's always going to go by fives in that way. So I'm, there's no way I'm going to get eight again. So to actually change where it starts at, that's where you have to go back in your setup. Do shift and then num. And number of start, you put like eight and press enter. And that's where you get going by fives starting at eight. Okay. Now, um, if I go um, back in my setup, Shift, num. Uh, that's what those two do. Now the the number the step here doesn't have to go by fives. You could go by decimals. You could go by 0 0.01 and press enter. So now if I go back to my num, eight, eight point oh one, eight point oh two, eight point oh three. So you can have it go by whatever you want. If I do shift, um, num. Now that's those first two. This one I, I think is kind of interesting. Um, I'm not quite sure if I see the benefit of it, but it says the zoom factor. Well, if I go back to my num, actually, let me get rid of those point one, point oh ones. Those will throw it. Okay, so I go back to my shift num. Instead of by point oh ones, I'll have it go by um, uh, ones. Press enter. And now press my num. Okay, so it's going by that. My zoom factor is 4. Let's say I'm sitting right here at 1071. If I choose zoom, and then I down arrow to out, and press enter. 1071, that, ch that stayed as is. But these other ones changed. Um, so that went to 6, and this went to uh, 14. If I press my zoom, zoom out again. Then you see those change. So there's zoom, the values are zooming out. Or you could do zoom, zoom in, the zoom in. To me, this uh, is kind of doesn't give you any kind of control over the the zooming. Um, not the kind of control I'd like. You know, where I could easily see the patterns. Um, you can choose different ones. Trig, trig. I wonder if that'd be useful. If I go back to my shift, not that I'm doing this for trig, if I um, started at pi, hmm, I'd play that later. Anyway, I should have that distracted. <laughs> okay, go back to num. Anyway, you can do zoom, you can do unzoom, put it back where it was, like that. Hey, anyway, that's a zoom. And if you do a shift num, you can have it choose by different factors. Instead of four, you can put a ten here. And then enter. This is the same idea as if we were in a graph and we we're doing a zoom out. 
where our cursor is uh, would be our center. It stays as is, but everything else then changes by a factor. Anyway, I'll put that back to 4. Okay. Now let me go back to my um, symbolic. So I click my symbolic. And um, if I put this on my F2, my second equation, I got 1 divided by 3. And then my X key, X squared plus X minus 2. And oops, I should watch what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, my eyes are bad. Let me start over. Okay. 1 divided by 3. There we go. I should have done a right arrow key to get out of that, besides typing in the right number. And then I do max key, x squared, plus x, minus 2, and then press enter. Put that on F2. Now if I go to num, you not only see your F1, which is what we put on the first one, but you, you see F2 also. That's nice. Um, if you're going on to calculus, and this is a really nice feature. Now, um, these go by 8, and uh, again, as I change that, you'll see all those change. This is scientific notation, in case you're wondering. That says 2.7, double those threes, times 10 to the first power, which means this is 27.333333, so forth. Um, See how there's some e to the 2? This is 5.44 times 10 to the 2 power. So times uh, 100. So this is 544. Okay. That's not what I want to show you, though. Besides the, the different columns here, if I do Shift, Num to go to the setup, down here you see the, the number type. It says automatic. Um, I'm assuming this is a touch screen, either that or this is a mouse interface. But anyway, if I choose this, uh, then I can choose build your own. Really nice feature. I love this. If I now go back to num, um, see we got some options here. And you can type in whatever number you want. So if I put in 6, enter, then it'll um, plug in 6 to both um, both equations. If I um, want to come down here, instead of 3, I put in 6.125. Uh, Press enter. Then I'll plug that in. I come down here, and if I put in one third, it's so one divided by three. Enter. Then it plugs into both uh, both equations we're working with. Um, so this is uh, where you can type in whatever value you want for x. It's kind of like evaluating a, a function, which can be used for that. The one thing I have not figured out, and I'm not saying you can't do it, but uh, I have not figured out how to change these to uh, fraction form. Now, you can't do it on a Texas Instrument since you have to leave it in decimal form if you're in table view. Um, and this might be the same way because I couldn't figure out any way to get that changed. Um, to exit out of this, um, you can very simply just press escape. And that takes you back to here. Or you can go to your apps and go to something else. But that's working with a table on an HP uh, Prime uh, graphing calculator.